Okay, yo, yo, what's up guys? So this is another, and I think this is gonna be our last uh, playground. There might possibly be one more depending on how much time we have, but um, let's just start going through this. So this particular playground shows you how to kind of control your code with if statements. So let's take a look at the first page. Uh, all the code you've written so far is run in playgrounds and is run from the first line to the last in order. Now, no matter what you give your code to work on, it does the same things with it. Consider the string interpolations you've learned about. You had to perform a calculation and show the result in the string, something like this. Um, so video length equals three. If I blinked, I missed it. That was lovely. Your video length is, so let's take a look at this, three seconds long. If I blinked, I'd missed it. So if the answer was three, then this works fine. Your video is three seconds long. If I blinked, I missed it. But try to change the video length to something enormous. In this case, the video message doesn't look right. Your video is long number seconds long. If I blinked, I missed it. You want your code to do different things depending on the value of your answer. You need your code to make decisions. So let's learn about decisions. So true and false. In the game, 20 questions, you can identify things, anything in the universe just by answering, asking questions with a yes or no answer. Questions with simple answers can be very powerful. You can write code that can be thought of as a question and so if you can tell if their answer is true or false. You can see the results in the sidebar. So run your code. So notice that when you have true or false by itself, you just get a T or an F, so it says it's true or false, okay? And then you can assign it to constants. So let yes equal true, and then so true, and then if you put yes down, it's gonna be true, and let no equal false, and you can set it to no. Okay, so the only bools, so these are known as Boolean values, um, and the bools used in Swift to represent the Boolean value, the only possible bool values are true and false, okay? So if we uncomment that line, um, that would give us an error, so go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna move on to the next page. Okay, so I want you to read through this page um, and kind of see if you can figure out what this all means, okay? Notice the double equal sign and the single equal sign. Learn the difference, okay? I'm gonna let you read this and I'm gonna move on to the next page. Come with me, pause the video, and then come with me to the next page. Okay. These are more comparisons. So notice you have the less than, the greater than, the not equal to, the less than or equal to, or the greater than or equal to, okay? Um, read through these and understand the different ways that these are written, okay? Um, you will be quizzed on what these actual symbols mean. All right, now moving on to the next page, okay. So this is gonna be the last one I go over with you. Um, and then I want you to kind of go through the rest of the playground and see if you can kind of figure out the rest of it. Um, so conditionals, you've learned about true and false. You've seen how to write comparison statements that have the result of true or false. The final part of the puzzle is how you can make your code do different things depending on these results. Okay, so at the start of the playground, you read your reactions to the length of the video. Now it's time to implement that in code. So what you want to happen is this. If the duration is shorter than five, say it was too short. If the duration is greater than five or equal to five, then we say it was very nice. The code is similar to how you'd write it down here. So run your code. So let video length equal three. If the video length is less than five, you're gonna get, if I blinked, I'd missed it. Notice when we ran it, that's the answer we get. Notice that there is nothing on this part down here, okay? There is no answer to the left, all right? So this is called an if statement. It works like this. If some code that could be true or false is true, run the code inside the braces, otherwise skip it. In the code above, you can see the result I'm sorry, you can see in the results sidebar that the first if statement is run. The code inside the second if statement isn't executed because the conditions for it aren't true. So, experiment. Change the value of video length to see how the new value affects the code that is run. Okay, so let us change this to five. Okay, run the code again. 
Now notice that the ABC moves down to the second if statement and is now that's lovely because five is equal to five. So it is going to show that's lovely, okay? Now experiment. What happens if you change the comparison in this first example so it complains about video shorter than 10 seconds? What happens if you then set the video length to eight? Okay, so we're going to do 10 seconds, and we're going to change this to 10 seconds, and we're going to change this one up here to 8. And notice it shows up here because we've changed the values of everything, okay? So that's kind of how that works. So now you are going to move on to else. Now, from this point on, I'm going to let you guys kind of go through this. Hopefully you understand how this works. Um, I will be going over more of this in a video next week, but try to get through this stuff um, and do the exercise for today. Then you will have an exercise for tomorrow, okay? Hopefully you guys understand this, and uh, hopefully you guys are able to do the assignment.